Hello, Weird Nation, and welcome back to the building of John Hopkins Hospital in the Sims 4 Get to Work world. So last part, we basically built all of the exterior. So now we're moving on to the interior of the hospital. I believe right now I'm just trying to map out where I want everything on the second floor, and then I'll probably be moving down to the first floor. I can't really remember the process because like I said in the last video I actually <laughs> had this sitting in my inventory for quite a long time it was about two weeks um, that has been sitting in my little inventory and I haven't got a chance to actually post it to YouTube but yay it is finally here for you <laughs> um, so yeah if you didn't watch the other video you can feel free to click on the annotation at the end of the video in order to watch um, the last part of this where we built the exterior but right now I'm just putting in the basic layout for the patient's rooms on the second floor and I believe that I was gonna have like this is going to be like the standard adult wing of the hospital and then on the third floor where we're going to make that the children's ward so they're gonna be very they're going to be two distinct type <laughs> floors. They're going to look extremely different from each other. Um, again, this is not the definite layout of the final final. Um, <laughs> as you know, I like to switch things up constantly. Like I'll start off with a layout and then end up with something completely new. So this is no exception. It is a completely new layout besides for, I believe, the patient's rooms those are the only ones that kind of stay the same everything else gets changed like these medical stations right here completely change and i believe the reason why they change is because when i was in here making it um it just looked weird <laughs> especially these operation rooms you don't have two adjoining operation tables you just don't they have each have their own little separate part of it um and then I believe it was just not enough room for everything because you have to have quite a lot in the hospital. In the original hospital that came with the game, it was pretty good because it kind of got everything on one level. But for us builders who like the world of extravagance, that's just not, it's just not us at all. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to mend everything make sure everything's in its proper place you know so this is when it starts this is when I think this is when I realized that it just isn't going to work anymore and I think I was started to switch it out even though I started putting in most of the work in the break room and stuff but I think probably like you'll as you'll see I'll be like oh god I don't have enough room to fit everything on just two floors because it's just not enough space <laughs> but um or maybe I don't <laughs> I can't really remember my thought process I just know the second floor doesn't look like that anymore <laughs> and then I also was dabbling with this I was like oh maybe I should just create just this little column up here yep here we go <laughs> this is when I just ended up just deleting everything <laughs> just literally everything I just was like no no this is not right I'm gonna have to make a separate floor for this it's just obvious <laughs> um, oh and I believe this is the second day that I was working on it I'm trying to remember exactly how long it took me to do this but I know it was a long time because I didn't just focus on it for a day when I was off I did it while I was working so I would come home and maybe work on it for maybe two to three hours and then leave the rest for the next day and that was kind of the process so I think it took me a week's total when it probably could have only taken me maybe a day to do with some breaks in between <laughs> but yeah it took me a little bit of a while but like I said in the last video it was a <laughs> it was a pretty big build honestly Yep, and this is when I make all of the surgical areas over here. And I believe I put the bathroom back in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. 
because I had realized that it wasn't a bathroom on this floor so I decided to move that around and that actually also gets deleted it's kind of funny as I talk through this I'm realizing that everything that you see right now is going to be completely different from what actually is taking place <laughs> in the real hospital that I built <laughs> but it's okay it's like let's Building is a trial and error, nothing really goes as you want it to, ever. <laughs> and it, especially not on the first time, at least for me it doesn't. And I've been watching a lot of other sim builds and they come up with the idea and they, it's like instantaneous, they just make it and it's there. For me it's more like, hmm, this looked okay and now it just doesn't look okay so now I have to figure out something else to do but in my defense it turns out way better than what it originally was supposed to look like so I not to press about stuff that doesn't really matter at the end of the day because hey I have a nice bill at the end of the day so I'm pretty happy about that um this is me just scaling everything again in like I said the third floor kind of resembles the second floor as it's going to be the children's ward and I think I remember that because I wanted to put in rooms here and then I was like okay this is definitely not <laughs> enough room for things but yeah <laughs> yeah this is me just like mm, this isn't gonna work <laughs> this looks weird <laughs> I'm looking back and yep here we go <laughs> this is when I make the whole complete third floor all over again oh L, I forgot I was playing around with that idea just to have that ward over there but then it just ended up looking a little bit weird so I moved the children's ward and also the employees lounge upstairs <laughs> and what else am I doing up here okay yep so yeah, that is definitely, this side over here is where all of the employee stuff is going to be. Like the gym, the lockers, the little um, cafeteria that they have, the employee's lounge basically. And this really cool glass interior. I think that's what I do really, really like about John Hopkins. It's so airy and bright. Everything is white. <laughs> white and glass it's literally just white and glass and it's really cool and i really like being in that space because it's just light and airy and i don't know it makes you feel comfortable not so much the security guards because they just don't know how to help you <laughs> but the atmosphere is pretty dope <laughs> but that's like that at every hospital there's people who just don't want to work but they need the money so when you ask them about where something is or how do I get here to kind of give you an attitude but we're not gonna rant about customer service right now <laughs> we're not gonna do that and then this is me just trying to play with funky shapes to give it more room because I didn't really I wasn't all the way satisfied with making a complete third floor I wanted to just make a like a ran just enough space I didn't want to make too much space because nothing really irks me more than when a house is too big and it's just all of this excess space for no reason <laughs> and I've seen some houses like that on the gallery where it's just like this huge massive house and it's just all of this space and it's like barely anything there and your sins really don't need that much to walk so when you have all this extra space, it just looks, I don't know, it just looks weird to me. So that's what I was trying to prevent with this build because it is a huge build and I was worried about not being able to fill in every nook and cranny. But in the end, I ended up having not enough space. I had to make it bigger. But yeah, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. <laughs> like I said, at the end of it, it kind of turned out pretty awesome. And I don't know why I was like really focused on the third floor. I thought I was going to be strictly on the first. But I'm kind of all over the place with it. I, Because I'll realize, okay, I need this to be over here. 
and then I need something to be downstairs so I'll like go back and forth back and forth that's kind of how I build unfortunately it's not one clear cut oh I'm just gonna focus on this area no it's not like that but in my defense I think I was just mapping out the land because I wasn't really concerned with wallpaper. I just wanted to make sure everything fit and it looked okay. <laughs> so now this is supposed to be two offices right here um, for two prominent doctors. I do believe I make an additional office on the second floor, if I'm not mistaken from my memory. <laughs> But yeah, these, I know for sure these are two private offices for doctors right here. Which turned out really awesome. I really liked the offices that I made for this hospital. I was like, ah, I can't wait till Zara is a doctor. Like, she can just be like, I don't have to do anything. I can just be in my office and make lots of simoleons. <laughs> so I just, that's one thing I am excited about when Zara does become a doctor and she gets her little white lab coat of justice. It's going to be awesome. Um, but the one thing I will say about this, these offices is that they do get scaled back because like I said, I did end up, I think at the end I did have too much space so I ended up scaling things back. <laughs> So it's never the same, guys. It's never the same with me. It's never the same. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to incorporate these club chairs into my other builds, but I just can't seem to put them anywhere besides in like waiting areas for some reason. Because they're really cute. Like they're really cute chairs, but every time I look at the name, it's seen. I think it is called like reception chairs or something. But they look really cute. I just don't know how to use them yet. Anywho's, um, that little glass place right there is actually going to be a playground for the kids. Um, so in there is going to be like some toys, dollhouses, books and stuff. So when they are here in the hospital for an extended period of time, they have somewhere to go. Because when I was in fifth grade, I was really silly and I was playing with my cousins one day and we all had this bet going on how who could jump the farthest from bed to bed and of course me being the oldest I should have known better and was like no I'm not going to do this but of course I was competitive so we were jumping back and forth on the beds <laughs> that were they were two twin beds side by side of course like an aisle in between where the sideboard was and I fell <laughs> in between the beds at the time it hurt but it went away so my mom didn't think of any anything of it of course she was not too keen on me <laughs> falling but hey what can you do I was a child so I think about six months later just randomly one day my legs started hurting severely like it was severe pain so she took me to the emergency room and come to find out my cartilage had slipped off of my hip so essentially my the bone between my leg and my hip were rubbing against each other and that was what was causing the pain and the friction so I had to go in the hospital for a week and get I think uh what is in my leg right now it's like a screw <laughs> it's literally a screw so they had to stick a screw in between that so it could hold together something I don't really remember I think it's cartilage or some fatty tissue that they had to hold together in order for my two bones not to rub against each other and cause more friction so till this day I still have a screw in my hip and I have this really gnarly scar <laughs> on my left leg that won't go away no matter how much cocoa butter I put on it so <laughs> um but yeah I don't know where I was going with this oh I had to stay in the hospital I stayed at the University of Maryland where my mom worked because it was easier for her because she would spend the night with me and then she would just go to work <laughs> After that, she would spend the night and she would go to work and I would just be there on her break. She would come see me, but that's about it. 
So in there, oh, I'm sorry, the video totally stopped. <laughs> I think I was contemplating something at this time or eating. And it's two possible reasons. And as you can see, I'm back on the second floor. But anyways, in, I don't know if it's still there, but when I was there in the hospital at University of Baltimore, they had, not University of Baltimore, University of Maryland, they had like this kid section and he had like this tree of life and stuff and I thought that was really cool and the video stopped again <laughs> what was I doing here I don't even remember I'm sorry but I'll tell you a story while we're doing it so they have like this really cute kid section with like this tree of life and the ground was really soft and stuff so I wanted to kind of recreate that oh we're back again <laughs> I wanted to recreate that in this build even though um, it's not necessarily in John Hopkins. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't really dived that deep into the children's lord at John Hopkins. But yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I just, yeah, I wanted to create a playground in my build, basically, for the children's lord <laughs> and make it really colorful and stand out, basically. Um. I think this is me realizing I don't have a bathroom for guest use on the third floor, even though the employees have their in the employee lounge. So this is what this little space is. Right here is like a little powder room thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. And at first I was gonna make um, two stalls, but then I decided just to make one. So. I don't know if it's this floor where I have one on this side and another one on the other side. Is it? It might be. I think it is because it was like this dead space right here <laughs> where I'm just like, hmm, I should put it here or something like that. And I apologize for all of the saves, but like I say in every video, my game crashes all the time for no apparent reason. It just likes to crash on itself <laughs> but I think we're closing in on the end of the video if you want to see part one make sure you click on the annotation at the end of this video and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like because I would greatly appreciate it all right guys until next time keep feeding you weird see ya Damn.